Uh, I'm going to do a formic acid treatment on our beehives. Um, this is the, the result of the, of the previous one. And what we did is we put paper towel into each of the hives. And you can see the bees um, uh, chewed it up and basically spit it out um, on both hives. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm changing my approach and I'm going to use a plastic bag here. So I've got a one paper towel in uh, just a sandwich bag. And what I did is um, I, I slit, put three slits in there. And then what I'll do is mix up the, the acid solution, get it to the right concentration with water. And then I'll put that into the middle of each of the, the, the brew boxes. Okay. And then hopefully they won't be able to get as easily to the, um, to the paper. So uh, the, uh, the uh, instructions for a formic acid treatment say, uh, get a formic acid solution down to about 60-65% um, acid uh, to water, so about two parts uh, acid to one part water. So what I've done is I've got, um, got some water in there, and then what I'll just mix that in, formic acid down drink, I'll just mix that in two to one. And uh, you're supposed to use 30 mLs um, per, per box, so I have uh, two boxes, one, two. Um, 30 mLs is, is exactly two tablespoons, so what I'll do is um, I've got exactly two and a half, three tablespoons of water in there. I'll top it up with, with um, uh, uh, the, the balance to make it eight tablespoons total. That'll be about a two to one solution. And then each hive will get, um, each box will get uh, two, two tablespoons, 30 mLs. Okay, so that's about two to one. I happen to have a, uh, a syringe, uh, and I know exactly how much one tablespoon of a syringe is. It's about, you know, fill it all the way up, and that's one tablespoon. So I'll put two, two on each um, uh, paper towel. So I've got a smoker. Uh, that's a uh, torch. I'll just fire up this um, bark that's in there. that nice and smoky. Okay, I'll turn off the torch. Sorry, I'm kind of racing around here. That's off. I'll let that go and uh, burn down a little bit. And I'll get back. So every beekeeper's got a little smoker. That's going now. That's going fine. And what I'll do is just crack open uh, these, the, the top cover, uh, put a little smoke in, and I'll calm down the bees. Okay, let's get that smoker off. The cover, cover came off easily. That's because Harrison was just out here this week. And there'll be a lot of bees in there, I expect. Yep. Okay, so we'll just pop the uh, cover over here, and then uh, I'll smoke these. Sorry, I'll smoke these bees a little bit. You don't need to, don't need to smoke them too much. And what that does is it triggers a natural reaction to uh, to to flee the hive because of a forest fire, and they go and consume honey, um, and then uh, and that that quiets them down. So I'll just take that hive and uh, I'll move it over here, and uh, get to work. So I'm just um, squirting this in. I've made slits, as I as I said. Yeah, I, you'll see I've got gloves on. Do not mess with uh, formic acid without gloves, okay? Because it is very bad. It's a horribly dangerous acid, and uh, and uh, you need to wear gloves, and preferably you wear a mask around this stuff, okay? Okay, so I, I simply laid... Um, that the plastic bag with the um, the paper towel and the formic acid in the middle and the bees this time I'm hoping won't be able to chew through as quickly through the, the paper because there was no paper left on there uh, They absolutely destroyed it. So uh, we'll see how that goes now I'm gonna I'm um, going to do it. But I'm gonna take this box off put another piece of plastic in there All right. Okay, that top box that was heavy um, I bet that weighed 50 pounds. It was really hard to get off. This is the bottom brew box and uh, And it's not nearly as um, is full of bees as the top and I think you know that makes sense because what happens with bees is they uh, they go They move up a little bit because they like to um, go where the warmth is and it's you know heat rises so that box as you can see is Absolutely full of bees 
and that box is probably, I don't know, half full, half-ish full? Okay.